In this video we share Cardinal Raymond Burke calls Pope Francis to remove German bishops. According to Cardinal Raymond Burke, Pope Francis must remove the German bishops if they do not distance themselves from the fallacies of the Synodal Way, which they launched in 2019 and through which they continue to attack Catholic doctrine. Cardinal Burke did not circle. Faced with the fact that a number of bishops voted for changes in church doctrine, such as homosexuality, priestly celibacy or the ordination of women, or did not explicitly oppose the proposals, he appealed to Pope Francis to remove them. The Holy Father must confront these bishops and ask them to renounce heresies and positions that are contrary to church discipline, Cardinal Burke said in an interview published May 11 on the Catholic Action for Faith and Family website. If they do not renounce their mistakes and repent, then the Pope had to remove them from office. This is the situation we are in. The Pope of Rome, Peter's successor, is by definition the principle of unity in the Church, the Cardinal stressed. It is up to him to warn these bishops. And if they do not accept his fraternal advice and hierarchical call to repentance from the bishops of the Universal Church, then appropriate sanctions should be applied so that the faithful know that these bishops do not lead them in the Catholic faith," said the Cardinal. Unfortunately, the confusion is created and encouraged by those who are called to be teachers of the faith and shepherds of the flock with clarity and courage," said Cardinal Burke. According to him, bishops who do not clearly defend Catholic doctrine actually leave the flock and do not remain pastors, but mercenaries who try to adapt the Church's teaching to the vision of the world, the vision of the secular world, the vision of a world without God. Cardinal Burke is currently one of hundreds of signatories to a critical letter addressed to Bishop Georg Batzing, President of the German Bishops' Conference. In this letter, bishops and cardinals from around the world warn that the Synodal Way risks going into a dead end and having devastating effects. Bishop Batzing rejected the criticism as well as the concerns of the Scandinavian and Polish bishops. Urgent change in the Church after the crisis of abuse includes also the need to develop Church doctrine, he said in May. By developing the doctrines of the Church is meant a more or less radical change, an evolution contrary to the heritage and teachings of the eternal tradition, in other words, a teaching contrary to what Jesus Christ, the Son of God, transmitted to us. Will this increasingly urgent concern of many bishops for the Synodal Way have any impact on Rome and the Pope? Unfortunately, this is unlikely given the direction in which, on a global scale, the Synod on Synodality has already set out. Thank you for supporting my channel. May God bless you and keep you. Our Lady, Queen of Peace, pray for us.